ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Kanoto in China. I mean this other side of the corner. We are going to cross the ferry. So it's a bit windy windy but we can do this here in Mombasa County number zero zero one. How about Olikoni? I have got Olikoni. Olikoni. Normally have a problem recording here, but uh, let's try. It's an electric bike uh, changing the battery. So, you want to change battery? Yeah, I want to change. That's why you measure. Oh, you measure? Yeah. You got a tattoo? Nimbili. Nimbili. Yeah. You want to change? Yeah. Oh. That's why you want to change. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 China. Yeah, yeah, China. Yeah. You know, in a yangu tu. Eh. Eh. I think ten, five years. Five years. Eh. Uh, how many years? In three. Three. Eh. Uh, okay, sija juu, but do is electric, sija kitchen. Oh, oh. Oh, in automatic yangu. Eh, automatic. Oh, sasa ini. Ini kama manual, mana kita gaza kezi lepas. Oh, gear ni one, the one atas. Speed limit ya seven, seven. How long does one battery last? Battery moja, si mata how long ni distance kawa. Oh, distance kawa. Ina kawa forty kilometers. Forty kilometers. Oh, forty kilometers sekiisha, ina kau imeisha. Oh, nasa, nasa cikwa. Three hours. Let's just go one hour. Let's get me a car. Very stable. Very very stable. My skill. Yeah. Zito heavy. Zito fresh. Yeah. So I give up. Come on, come on, come in now. Come in now. We need. It's an ISP. Yeah, sixty-eight. Or sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Or when. Two people. Uh, two people. Okay. Peke yangu itafika 70. 70. Tukiongeza mtu mwingine watatu hapa. Eh eh. Na 65 64. Oh. Speed inapungua kiongeza usitu. So the more the people the less this. The less this. Less, less. Okay. Uh, less, less. Okay. Uh, lakini speed yake iko sawa. Okay. Uh, Alafu kwa mfano sasa unaona tumeingia hapa ndani tumekuwa tuko na 0%. Eh hey, 0. Lakini hiyo 0% huwezi kuanza kupanda nayo mlima pale. Oh pale unaweza kama kwa feed. Ai ah. Aiondoke. Oh. Eh aiondoke. Okay. Natulia tu hapa. Oh. Yeah, inside the ferry. This is MV Nikon. Yeah. Yeah. Ini, ini dah ni. Ada jambu na safari ni senang kan? Ais tu. Oh, jambu safari. Ini dah jambu or safari. Oh. Alafu nak jual haurus dia kita buat kamera apa dah ni? Ya. But apa tu sah? Kosawa. Tuk exit tu dah. Ah, sah. Ah. Kita pun dapat pembeli. Boleh pembeli. Eh. 
Hai, utaezana kweli na hii umati ya watu. Uh, Waweza jaribu mimi nitakutaniacha hapa. Inakuja tu ikienda kufika mwisho nakuja. Ah sawa. Lakini wewe careful na kamera. Sawa. Let me try. So ladies and gentlemen we are inside the ferry. So it's out. And we are crossing over to the other end. And we want to see what's happening. So I want to show you the ocean. Uh, so many people are in convenience and have to do this. I want to show you the ocean. Yesterday there was a ship that was coming from overseas. It's normally received here first before it's allowed clearly to go to the other end. But I had a brief, brief recording I'll show you at the end of this video. It's a sea vessel. I think that's the name. Sea vessel or sea container. Uh, maybe from Europe or India with uh, lots of lots of people and car. So when the ship comes, it crosses from that end coming to that end. So this is like the holding area. They hold the ship for inspection before it is allowed to go to the port of Mombasa. There's another small small vessel over there. Small small vessel near that creek. And another one over there. Another one over there. Moderately big, not so big but moderately big. I don't know if on camera you can see it, but here with naked eyes I can see it properly. Oh, the ship is still here actually. Here, this one, very big. Look at that huge giant. Maybe it takes almost two days to be cleared because it's been here for quite some time. And one day I would like to do a tour with this ship. One day, if I get the time, let's see what, what happens. So, this is the ship, Sea Treasure Valletta. Sounds like Italian because of the name Valletta. Valletta is a very big, big ship. So it's being hold here for some time for inspection and then when it is cleared it will go to the port of Mombasa. Maybe if it has uh, visitors or the cargo it will be offloaded there. But for now enjoy the beautiful view of Sea Treasure Valletta, probably Italian. On camera it looks small but it's a very very big vessel, very big ship. Let me find my way back. Sorry, sorry. Let me find my way back. There's water. 
Arrived the other end of the ferry. Let's get it up. Let's get ready. So hard to record here because the security want you to delete the video. But the small, small moments we have, we have to make good use of it. That's why I'm recording in low tone so that I don't get attention from the police. So. Right now we want to exit the tower. No, Likoni Ferry. Likoni Ferry. This is it. We want to exit the other end from this other end. A big, big vessel. Please. A big ferry. In Abeba or Tuangapi, carrying capacity. In a Jaga capacity, I can be 40 cars. Like in Sajua. 40 cars. 40 cars. I'm serious. Money, two thousand money, three thousand. Money, two thousand. Almost two thousand people. Okay, so we are exiting. We are exiting the ferry. Now I have to be careful of how I record because the security is all like that. I can't even record it too. Oh, I just have to get drunk as I okay. I can't even go on to go on and that. Yeah, yeah. Exiting the ferry on this early Monday morning. So over here, I don't mind the view or the shot. I have to record secret. So this one will be awesome. Your main street. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 So from here no security. But if you are done. But I can see a few more. This other Oh. Oh. What Thank you. 
Change the battery. Is it open? Oh. This is where they change the battery of this vehicle. And this green means it uses electricity in China. The green one uses electricity. So uh, let him change the battery. Oh, to that route. Oh, so we're going to watch Jesus, and then I'll show you better views of Fort Jesus today. Early morning in Mombasa, this was happening. Back to school, people are going. The teachers are going back to school. So this is Mombasa view for you. Went a bit of some traffic, but we are money. We're just getting some close ups of Mombasa uh, City, the arts. The graffiti on the matatus. The morning morning here in Mombasa. So morning guys, welcome back to Anoto in China. Those who are here, keep watching the video till the end. Subscribe, like, and comment. And, uh, let's achieve a watch hour. So right now we are going to Fort Jesus. Here in Mombasa, county number 001, so I wind up my stay here in Mombasa. I'm from the other end of the pond, and uh, today I must show you guys a brief history about Fort Jesus, and let's talk about it. Here we have a beautiful, beautiful monument of the sharks, shark boys, that. It's a beautiful, beautiful view of the monument. If I get time, I'll do a video about the monument. It's a monument that will pass for me. Come on, your shacks. Ile was ill. Ah, come around about two. Oh, eh, yeah. uh, come to go to see the mon monuments. Uh, and I, and I enough, but I to put a big year. If 
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto. It's a beautiful day. The trees are very green, some crows. And right now, I'm coming live from Mombasa, here next to Fort Jesus. And uh, the first episode will be about the old history of Mombasa. So, welcome back on board. This is Anoto in China. And today I'm joined by Anwar Muhammad. Anwar Muhammad. Anwar, Anwar Muhammad. Anwar Muhammad. Yeah. And he'll be uh, taking us through the history of old, old town. Old town. Old town Mombasa. Okay, so take it away. This is the coffee shop. I was doing the training since 1998 when we took some coffee to the ports. Oh, have coffee pot. We have the first pot in Kenya. Yeah. Also, I'm going to show you. Okay. We have the first pot. The first pot. We have the first police station. Uh -huh. We have the first mosque in Kenya. Okay. We have the first South African hotel. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a hundred uh, years. Uh, and this train, this railway. Yeah. What you are saying something about this railway? Yeah. It's the first railway. Yeah, the first railway. Where, where is it? It's been removed, but we still have the issue. It used to be here. Yeah. The first railway. Yeah. It was starting here, yeah. but it was removed. Yeah. So this is the view, coffee, coffee pot. So in that piece of information. And that's why you have this because. Yeah. Well, uh, the model of the is because you used to check up some coffee. Coffee. Yeah, coffee to the pot, pot to the music. Oh, that's why you have this pot. It was, uh, it was built 1897. 1897. Yeah, the Queen Elizabeth was living there for two days. Oh, when Queen Elizabeth visited? Yes, yeah, it was, it was near. She, she stayed here for two days? For two days, yeah. Okay, what's the name of the hotel? Mombasa Club. Oh, Mombasa Club. It's, it's managed by the National Museum of Care. Yeah. You can read from here, you can get some knowledge. Uh, so when Queen Elizabeth visited in 1963, okay. Uh, how many times did the Queen come? Well, only one time he came. Oh, because the task was was built because of Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Maybe tell us something about that. Um, the Queen Elizabeth was here when was people was paying this thing there. And this is the first, this is the map of the whole town. Okay. And we are here right now. Okay, okay. All right. And this is a, we call it Jimmy Street. We have a, the railway train. And oh, we have a, we used to have a train here. And, yeah, and today I'm, sure I'm going to show you the first port. And this is the first police station in Kenya. Oh, the, the first place. police station in Kenya. Yeah. It was British or? I ordered British. Okay, and maybe also here. Yeah, we have the coffee. The coffee. Yeah, and I can show you like the way you used to the coffee with this kind of jugs and this kind of glasses. Okay, okay. So this is a sample which I'm From here. the Arabic uh, influence. Yes, yep. Okay. So the first police station yeah. of Kenya. Yeah. yeah. But, it was, but it was someone's house, now it's been put on sale. Oh, this one is put on yeah. sale? What? Personal house. So this pol the first police station of Kenya has been put on sale, this one. You can see the trees are growing up, up. It has been taken over by the trees. So let me show you. The first police station in Kenya. Look at the door. Look. The door was built in 1897. Look, very old door. Look. And uh, what could be inside here? Let's see. Don't worry, there's no one inside. You need to go inside. You have to see the door. Scary to be inside. Oh. First police station. You can 
So who was the first man. person to be arrested yeah? in the first police case? They used to be using those kind of people which are being, being some robberies and you know, they're oh. coming put oh. inside there. Oh. But then not all these buildings were there. No. Yeah, some just came. Some just came. So oh. see, I don't know even that. Nice, like this is building was building this time, mm -hmm. so they're just putting like this. Oh, okay, so most of the buildings here are new, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. You can repair a building and till to the under museum sign signature, uh -huh. and the museum come and check the building. If the building to get wrong, mm -hmm. so you can repair it. So, uh, if you have a house here in old Mombasa town, you just don't repair it, you can't repair until to the under museum. So the museum have to inspect yeah, you yeah, like when all, you are repairing. Yeah, all this is the old place, so um, you know we can't allow to to mess with the anything because the history. History. That's the thing. What you don't need right now. Okay. You can see this the old building. You think? Okay. I'm a kid. Okay. Yes, come on. So he's telling me if you are father on the house, definitely you or your great grandfather father on on the house here before you want to make some uh, refurbishment you must contact the museum so that the museum can come to inspect as you do it so that you don't mess with this piece of amazing amazing history here in old Mombasa town. And this is the whole in African hotel. African hotel. And the first hotel in Africa. The first hotel in Africa. Yeah. You can live from like in Kenya. First hotel in Kenya began in 1901. Visitors are invited to view inside. Your payment or donation? Is it free to go inside? Yeah. Okay. It's a school. But it's a it's a school. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next time I'll take time because I'm doing this in yeah, a bit of a rush. Old balcony, eighteen sixty. Old balcony, uh, eighteen sixty until, uh, till now. What? And there's still people living here. Oh. Old balcony. Yeah. And the gallery is Safina. This building was restored by National Museums of Kenya. Look at the old door. Very, very impressive. So if we see something like that, it means the building was renovated under the watch of the museum. So that they preserve the underneath. Okay. Look at that. And this is the first mosque. The first mosque the in mosque Kenya. The first mosque in Kenya. It was being 1570. 1570. This is the first mosque, the mosque in, Kenya. in Kenya. The name of Paul Mastig Mandri. Mastig? Mastig Mandri. Oh, Ma Mandri Mosque. 1570. Yep. 1570. That's a long time ago. Look at that mosque and look at that old speaker over there. Very, very important. Yeah. But I'm the new. Some almost 200 repair, years. Yeah. Some almost 230 years, if I may say. Yeah. And Liverpool. What yeah. is Liverpool doing the here? The person here who supports Liverpool, so we call it this place Liverpool. Oh, the person who? Yeah, he say never walk alone. Never walk alone, Liverpool. The person who did what? He like he loved Liverpool more than anything. The person who the people who uh, built here. The person who working in this shop. He loved Liverpool. So oh, the people who are working here, they yeah. love Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, that's why I'm not working alone. Yeah. I'm here with my brother. Yeah. Noor. Anwar. Anwar. N W A R. Okay. And what's this old this door? This is a restaurant. This is a restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. They have been closed, but. At the time, like eight or nine, will be open. Okay. There is some good view out down downstairs. Up. Okay. Oh, nice. it's an old old town. Yeah. You look at the wall, the carvings, okay. the roof, the windows. Very very. That's why we are calling the old 
old Mombasa yeah. town. So, welcome to this amazing tour at old Mombasa town. Oh, this is this was the old post office. Okay, and this one is also very old. Look at this; it's very heavy, so very colonial. And there was a railway here, so the railway was passing here, but now it was removed. I wish the railway could maintain, man. It could be very, very historic. Now, nowadays it's working, but. With the old boats. Where is the railway? The railway has been removed. Oh, okay. China camera. They don't see it. Old Mom Mombasa old port. Yes. So it's the first port in Kenya. Yes. The first yes. port yeah. in Kenya. Oh, okay. Check the boats. Okay. There's some boats? Yeah. Okay. Kenya Coastal Guard Service. I'm enjoying a beautiful stroll here at Old Town Mombasa. Old Town Mombasa. And I'm enjoying with a brother. Yeah. Liverpool says yeah. you'll so never walk alone. Now. And today I'm walking with my brother Anwar. Anwar, yeah. Yeah. And if you are coming to Mombasa and you want somebody to take you around the old town and Fort Jesus and also up to Lamu, Anwar is the guy. So somebody can call you Anytime. and book in advance. Yeah. You can you share your number? Uh, I'm gonna give you a number. Yeah. Zero seven zero zero triple three seven two one. Zero seven zero zero triple three seven two one. Oh. This is your college. Mm -hmm. A place where people who can take them some fresh fish. Oh, what is the this used to be the Kenya, Kenya Port Authority. Authority. Yeah. And, and the uh, Kenya Port Authority. Okay. But right now yeah. the fish. Oh right now it's a fish shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the Kenya post of before it moved to the other end, yeah. this was uh, the place. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So this is the first office of the Kenya Port Authority. So here we could see the ocean. Come on, come on. So here, oh, you have a very, very beautiful view here. Look at that. Is, so is that is that what very old or yeah, old? You can see these are just kind of trees you let me build, build with the boats. They use the wood. Yeah. Oh, so guys, notice the wood on the boat. Who? Which one? Which country did this come from? This one, yeah, India. India. Which year? The There's a flag of Kenya yeah. and yeah. where's the flag of India? The green. Oh, the green one. Yeah. Okay. When was this bolt constructed? It came like two weeks back in January. But it's going down to two weeks. It's going down to two weeks. Oh, this one can go to, all the way up to India. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. It's still working on. You can see some machine down inside to remove some things. Yeah. Everything. For real? Of course. It's still working on. So, if I want to that, that trip, do they carry you? Can still get that. Of India. I would like to travel in such an old, old boat. It could be very, very amazing so that I can have a mouth of a shark. This is the mouth of a shark? Okay. This is the tail of a shark. shark. Okay. Oh, impressive. And some corals. Yeah. So the old port of Mombasa, they used to dock here and they come. It's a very, very historic port. Very, very historic port. So right here it's been converted into uh, fish, fish, market. Fish, market. fish market, the, the old old fish market. The only fish market in all Mombasa yeah. town. Yeah. If oh. you need a fresh fish in Mombasa, don't come in. Here and fresh fish, fish like, yeah. it's like a shark. Uh, not just a shark. This is nice. Yeah. What's, what's this? No, you Kole kole. Kole kole. Oh. Shark fish. Oh, shark fish. It looks like a shark. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, this is the old Kenya Port Authority. <laughs> You'll tell me the story of cats in Mombasa. <laughs> or maybe you tell me now. What is this with cats in Mombasa? Which one? 
people have a very bad perspective yeah, about, about the cuts. No, no, no. They will have to make that. I'm going to show you after reaching to the Fujitas. Yeah. There is a person mm -hmm. who loves cats more than anything. Mm -hmm. Even who get some kind of, I, I don't know, it's a disease of something. Mm -hmm. So you can even hear. Mm -hmm. When he's, he, he's doing stretching, mm -hmm. you can see. And he's changing his face because he loves too many cats. So the cats, you know, is. The thing is going to get you to the nose, you will change. Yeah. So you love to, you have like 20 or 50 cats. Oh, okay. So we'll see about that. We're just walking here at yeah, the fall town, Mombasa yeah. town. Was it the first town in Kenya? The first town in Kenya. It's the old town, they're still living here. Oh, old town. Very old, old. Everything is old. Yeah, very old building. That's why I've told you, you can repair your building and take get under okay. the National Museum. Museums. Yeah. You cannot refurbish your building. You cannot and even repair. You cannot even repair. Until even a single up. bulb. Even a single Nothing. Bulb. I'm going to show you someone, some house I can go. Why? Because they had some money to share with the Kenyan and the music to help me to build the house. Oh, how much do they need to pay? Oh, you have to go and talk to the manager, okay? Oh, you have to talk to the manager. But... So, and even old sinks, yeah. or old meter lines. Very old. Mambo. Even the doors, very old. Old Mombasa town. This is another street. Crazy boy. Crazy boy. If you want to do anything, they can do anything. Crazy things. Yeah. Why crazy? So the mind has been changed. Or maybe life, life has been complicated. So maybe they do drugs. Of course. So, so lots of crazy people yeah. used to cheat here. Even up to that. No, no, no. Okay. You see too many cats on the ground. Yeah. And this building and is that's why I've told you. It's falling. Why? Because they have to tell you about the academy and the museum. You can't repair until they give you the permission. Yeah, but it's so it's it's still working oh. on about the permission. So w why did they have to bring this old piece of uh, ancient building down? Because uh, and the museum, they need those from the white skin on the come to look at the, the house, how wide the building with the things, how the uh, Okay, come, come. Uh, what are you saying? I mean, you can see, uh -huh. to give you a history, uh -huh. you, the current building for now, uh -huh. until we're still working on. Okay. So the other mis, uh, misunderstanding with them. Okay. So, so they can't build here now. So the owner brought it down? Yeah. No, 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 it's broken, broken down by the same self. There? It's been broken down by my own self. No one was inside. Oh, no one, the home, oh, it's old, so it, yeah. it fell on it its fell own. It on its own. Oh, sorry. And some art here in the old town, Mombasa Raha. Look at that. Then this is our Mombasa house. Mombasa house. Yeah. Mombasa house. And somebody has written here, free Palestine. Palestine. 100%. That's a good way to uh, put that information. Then we no war should progress in this world. We are preaching for peace across the world. At here, Mombasa house. Peace, peace, peace. No war. We need peace in Palestine. Israel, Gaza, Ukraine, Russia, we need peace in the world. Yeah. Because humanity needs peace to coexist. So Mombasa House, what was this used for? Was it a hotel that one? Uh, some, someone's house. Oh, someone's house. Oh. And all Portuguese church. Yeah, we should all Portuguese church. All. 1846. 1846. Yep. This is the second church in Kenya. The first one was in Berlin. So this is the second one. Yeah. The second church in Kenya. 
This one. Is it a Catholic or Anglican or? I really know those days. Okay. And, uh, some we have some plants growing on them. Look at this. So even for you to remove such plants. It's okay, you can remove by no one is Oh, okay. White House, 1915. <laughs> the White House. What was this building used for? Just a personal, personal building. But the time with the Arabs was here, mm -hmm. it was calling the White House. White House. Yeah. Okay. And you have very unique doors. Yeah. Very old. Very old and still like. Yeah. And it's still good. And 100 years. Yeah. And it's still good. So what? You tell me from 1915 until now, it's how many days? Uh, almost 108 yeah. years. Mm. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just appreciating the old. Sorry, sorry. Uh, because I'm told people still live here. It's not a museum. Uh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, it's an old padlock, this old padlock. Oh. Very old, yeah. How old is this padlock? Actually, I'm in the 60s. 60s? What? I'm in the 60s. Okay, okay. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, okay. This, this building is still in by some people, so that's why I, I am up. Ah, don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm this is my home. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. And the floor, look at that floor. Also this old door. And this, why is this written Lamu? Lamu door. Lamu door, this one. Why is it Lamu door? Yeah. Okay. The inspiration? Oh, built by the people of Lamu. Okay. So here you have like five or four all have been different kind of door. There is a Zanzibar door, there is a Lamu door, there is a Oman door. Oh. So there is too many kind of people that come in. Everyone wants to try with it. How many and types of doors? Lamu door? Like three, yeah, Lamu. Three types of doors. Lamu door? Zanzibar door? No, Oman door. Oman? Oman, yeah. is from like people of Oman. Yeah, Arabic people. Arabic people. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well. yeah. Let's come on. Yeah. So you'll show us those types of doors. Yeah. You show us the types of doors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And somebody is campaigning yeah, in yeah. a very artistic way. Yeah. Who is this guy? They do him in a very very good way. Kazi and Ray, Hatimi Tosha. Look at that. It's a drawing, purely drawing of this beautiful corridor. Pure art. We we'll proceed with our tour. So this one is an Oman door. Yeah, this is Oman door. The lamb ready, so this is Oman. Very old. So there is another one. Very, very old. This is modern. Yeah. <laughs> modern. And then what's happening here? Here is a shop. A shop? Yeah, you can get some old things. Good. Pardon? The old balconies. The old? This is the old balconies. Old balconies? Yeah. Oh. And you can read from here. This is the last door. I'll show you the Omando. Oh, this is the Omando. You see, simple. Yeah, Omando. Look at that. 
you can observe the beautiful, beautiful painting. There's this guy sleeping here. And I don't want to. Who will tell you who you are? No, he used to have this show. But the time he was spending his money. Oh, he, so he just wait. He, he's the owner of this shop. No, his mom. His mom. His mom. Then he, when he passed away. Uh -huh. He left in the shop, uh -huh. so he can control the shop. Uh -huh. So he left his friend work for me. Uh -huh. He going to party. Okay. So his friend take some things okay. to go into another shop. Take some things after that. The shop finished. So, so this go. guy is the owner of this shop. Yeah. What? His life. When so have, when you have a good time, you have to watch out where you are going. So don't don't. One thing in life, people told me, uh -huh. in this in this life it's just a big road. Uh -huh. So don't complicate your. Mind. You have too many signs, so don't complicate your mind. Yeah. So this one is that big, don't complicate his mind. Yeah, yeah. So if when you settle with your mind, no uh -huh. one can tell you nothing. So it used to be a from here. No, no, no. This is another personal house. Okay. Now he's been taken to another person. So this, this is the shop. The yeah. shop. It's, it's a, is this a shop or a hotel? Our shop. This is for that guy. Yeah. But right now you see like uh, it's the brain normal. No, it's not normal. Not he's normal. He's talking by himself. And it's also very old. Yeah, it's still someone is running out. So if you can't running something, yeah. someone is coming to pick you up. How about on this end? What's what do we have here? Yeah. Oh, this Maybe building. Uh, Personalized house, but no one is living inside. Okay. You think like there is some ghost inside? Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Come, don't be in a hurry here because. No, I want to show you something also. Okay. They say this house is uh, tormented. Tormented, a personalized house. So uh, each and everyone, if you want to hire or you want to stay inside, uh -huh. you can stay like two to three days. He say at night he can sleep. He had some things in in the kitchen. Uh -huh. He had some people. He's getting shower when you go to the toilet, no one inside when you go into the so no one can stay in this house. Just so say by his own self. So nobody is living here. Yeah. Since but you are a kid. But some I think two people uh -huh. I think their mind that also has a those kind of ghost. Ghost he's still living he's still, and he's still sleeping there. Okay. And no one nothing can happen to him, I don't know. And uh, maybe can I if I want to sleep in this house? Mm, you can. If I want, if I want, uh, because uh, maybe in the near future I want to come and sleep in this tormented house. I'll take you to the owner of the house. You talk to him. You repair the, the room what you need. You can come and sit. And then I will tell you guys if this. Ah uh, yes, this it's tormented. This and this, of course. Because they normally say if you are not from this region, mm. the the evil spirits won't recognize you. No, no, no. Yeah. My at the time mm -hmm. I was just kid. Me, I was just going. I like going to the clubs. Okay. I'm going to the club at night, uh -huh. and I remember when I was in Madrasa uh -huh. in our school, school about the dinner school. Uh -huh. They tell us, oh, when you're coming at night, so you can get some ghost. I didn't see anything since I was young uh -huh. until now. So I you, didn't see any kind of ghost. So, you, you, but I remember there is a time uh -huh. I used to live in another house. And I didn't show you uh -huh. upstairs in the balcony. Uh -huh. I was sleeping in the balcony. Uh -huh. I had some. A horse coming. You had a horse. A horse coming from the street uh -huh. to the end of the Bojesus. Uh -huh. When I wake up, I want to check him. Uh -huh. He stopped the horse uh -huh. and start like look at me. Then was swing like. <laughs> me go back to sleep. I say no. <laughs> say, that's the thing which I've been near. Another in here anything. Oh. Some people that get in rumors. Uh -huh. So you know rumors can make your crime. Yeah, and I want to to insist something. Mm. You actually born here, so maybe yeah, somebody can be thinking. Yeah, I was raised here and I was gonna die here. You you are raised here. I was raising here. Okay, so tell us a brief. Who owns this house initially, and uh, has it been carried over to generations? No, 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 no. So who, still who, under parents. Parents. Yeah. So like uh, your four forefather owned the house. Yeah. And then he lived to the four forefathers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grandfather, yeah, father, and finally, family. Yeah. like where you stay, is it your house? Yeah, and my is my mom's house. Your mom's house. Yeah, even though he's already passed away, uh -huh. but I still own the house because I know this is my room, uh -huh. and that is my sister's room, and that is my mom's room. Uh -huh. So even those, if you have already passed away, uh 
I'll, I'll be the owner of the house. So you guys are the owners now. Yeah. How does it feel to be brought up here? It's a very historical, very I ancient. I'm still happy. Uh -huh. I don't want to go to Dubai, I don't want to go to London. I'm still in my place. Uh -huh. I'm doing my things, yeah. I enjoy, uh -huh. and I'm doing my job. Yeah, and you have a very good uh, uh, I have grasp of the English language. You speak like you've been to America. No, no, no. I used to learn with the British people. Look at the cats. Yeah, they're fighting. Uh, tell me, okay, what were you saying before you tell me about the cats? Yeah, I, I used to swim. I mean, I'm a swimmer. Uh -huh. I swim in the for Jesus. Okay. There is a big, big place that I'm going to show you, uh -huh. big beach. Uh -huh. I swim into another cross, across uh -huh. another. That's why you see each and everyone greeting me, like everyone know me in the streets. Okay. I'm a good swimmer. Okay. Um, so there is a guy, he called John, uh -huh. an English guy. Uh -huh. He really admired me, uh -huh. and I like the way he's swimming. He took me to the English school. Oh, English I didn't. School. I didn't go to London. Okay. I went to that to the swimming pool. Here in Mombasa. Yeah. Okay. Aga Khan can say. Aga Khan. Aga Khan can say. Can say. Yeah. So that's where you brought that. Yeah. Because you speak like an American black. And another thing, yes. I used when I'm 12 years to 16 years, I oh. used to like mo watching American movie. Okay. And my mind is too sharp. When oh. I listen to something, I always catch up playing. Uh, Two seconds. Okay. I can speak wherever I need to speak. Yeah, you, you, you seem like a hip hop artist. Nah, nah, are you? <laughs> because you are even the na na na. Yeah. So guys, this house they say it is tormented, and I want to come and sleep here for one night <laughs> so that I tell you guys it's nothing. So that I tell you guys whether the house is tormented or not. This one. So maybe next time I come to Mombasa, remind me guys. I need to come and sleep inside here. I need the room to be prepared. I need the evil spirits to wake up and see if they can deal with me. Hey. <laughs> What's happening to this one? This. One? this. First, the door. This is an Oman door. Yeah. How can the you distinguish between station. Oman? Oh, this is the first police station yeah. from the back view. Yeah. Oh, now guys, you can relate the first police station from the back view. Now, uh, still, still broken. Yeah. So the museum can't maintain this? No, no, no. This is, how come I'm going to give you the history and the thing was very built another house, so it's still going to stay like this. Okay. Until it broke and then down itself. So that's also an Omando? Yeah. How do you differentiate between an Omando and a Lamudo? You know about the shapes? Shapes? Yeah. The, the, way, the person working out with it, you can see this is a different, you can see this is a different. Okay. So, and this road we are calling India Kuron. India? Yeah. Not India? Yeah. So this is the old Mombasa. Yeah. The first police station of Kenya. Kenya police? Yeah. But it was colonial. The name is Ali. Ali Karakaman. Ali Karak? Okay, that's it. It's okay. Ali Kurio Market. Yeah, it used to be someone's shop. Oh, someone's shop. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, what I've told you, this is a personal house. Each oh. and house you can see that's inside, it's a personal house. Oh, okay, okay. And what do we have on the other end? We can... It's called Masrui Graves. Graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember there is a professor called Professor Ali Masrui? Yes. He used to also uh, be buried with over there. Oh, Ali Mazui was yeah, buried over yeah, there? Yeah. Are there uh, maybe the stones? The papai, the papai tree. Where's the papai tree? I can show you. Oh, the small tree. papai tree? Yeah. yeah. That is his grave? Yeah. And uh, who, who who are the first people to build this graveyard? Mazui, Mazui is the one. He was a professor? Yeah. A professor Ali Mazui, yeah. He used, to be in, he used to be in American University. Uh -huh. That's so, the biggest person. Uh -huh. I remember even the American people they used to come to visit him. Uh -huh. Because he was, he used to go be a good man. They used to come visit him yeah. before or after? Ah, after before. He ah, before he died. Before he died. So this land is on is for him? No, this land is for the Mazui. Mazui is just a kind of a, a clan? Yeah. Oh no, it's like a, a Kabila like Oh yeah, Kabila. A so tribe. This, yeah, but tribe. But this is a, a Mazrui tribe, and Mazrui is just people from Oman. Oh, people from Oman. Oman. 
like uh, Najib Balala yeah. is from Oman. Yeah. So this land belongs to them. So, yeah. If you pass away from you are Oman mm -hmm. or you're Masrui, mm -hmm. you come in your trip. If you are not, there is another one for the. If you, I don't know, you are tribe, I don't know you, you're going there. Okay, so the population of the Oman is a bit low. Yeah. And uh, it, all of this, how many people are buried here? Uh, too many, bro. Can I, can I tell you something? Yes. When the grave, you've been sitting for like six years to ten years, mm -hmm. they close up, to remove those things, they put in another person. Oh, when when somebody dies yeah. and they are put here for ten years. Yeah. After ten years, they remove him. Yeah, they remove him his bones. Yeah. Then you put in another person. And you put you don't remove him to someone else. No, mm. you just take him to another place. You put in another person. So where do you take the bo the bones? And, uh, just here. There, just here. You can't remove from here to another place. No, it's not allowed. And why do you do that? Why can't you just? That's the. Tradition. Okay. Of the Muslims. Uh, do you think maybe this part makes that house tormented? The part of the grave? Ah, it's okay. Makes that you house can see tormented. that house. Yeah. There is too many people living there. That is a new house. But That's no, nothing will yeah. happen to them. But, but this some people they say if you're living to the near grave, mm -hmm. it's too bad, but I don't think so. But this is the house that is tormented. This yeah. one yeah. close to the grave. So I want to sleep there in the near future. Yeah, yeah. don't worry. You come. Oh, no, okay. Then we see. And uh, this is the Mazuri gravesite. Some piece of information here. Uh, at least we've been told that Professor Ali Mazuri was buried here. And this one from the people of Omar. Oman. Yeah. Oman. Yeah. And you can see how it is. What? And you can see also the arts. Very artist. This is Oman. Yeah. So like uh, an Oman. Oman. Mm. Oman. Oh man, but this gate was not there in the no, past. No, 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 it's a new gate. Okay. So, tell me something about cats and be honest. Why is go, go to the place of the cats? Uh, no, we'll do that in the other video. Yeah, yeah. We, we need to end this video yeah. there. But tell me something about cats in Mombasa because we people from Wanapita to Abara, Bara is like up country. Up country yeah. They normally say. Uh, when you're in Mombasa, what out to the cat? Uh, sometimes they're trying to be a human. Yeah, sometimes nah, maybe the cat true. can be a human or somebody's grandfather. Nah, that's what do you think about day, that? Those days, them days, not today. Them days? Yeah. We okay. used to. Okay. There are some people used to use uh, using like black magic. Black magic? Yeah, so yeah. they're doing like those things. So it used to happen? Yeah. Okay. But not, not this kind of generation okay uh, come we'll finish here so it's actually a fantasy but a long time ago yeah. it was real yeah. what was what is one of the stories you heard about the cats here in Mombasa I mean yeah, any kind of story may I had this story about the cats or oh, it changed to be a human sometimes mm -hmm. if you meet with a cat mm -hmm. you faint but there is no something like that okay so it's, I was raising here was born here uh -huh. and any day in second time one of the cat which have changed. Okay. I've seen some different of the cat you can say move but cat is never going anywhere. I just look at you like hey don't touch me. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But they can't do anything to you. Oh, okay. It's just the rumors of the people. Okay. And maybe also uh, they say in Mombasa there's a lot of evil spirits happening around. Is it true? No, no, they're lying. Have you ever witnessed apart from the host I've never seen another one yeah. ever in my life. Okay. And I've been here for like now I'm 34 years. Okay. I've never seen that kind of thing ever. Okay. Because people have this belief that uh, any water body and ocean normally comes with so many evil things. No, no, no. There's no something like that. Have you ever seen a mummy? No. Not even one. Even not even one. Yeah. So Some people, you know, they're making, they're, they're making their job to be nicely. Uh -huh. That's why they're lying to the kind of people that like are coming from Nairobi, coming from US. Uh -huh. So if it, they want some good money, so they give you the, another story, the bad story. Okay. But there is no kind of that thing. All right. So guys, we started our video here. This is the Mombasa Old Town Road and Neighborhood Improvement Works, which are funded by the European yeah. Union. The Union, but they also, Najib Alala. Yeah, when Najib Alala was the, the MP. MP, oh. The Minister of the 
Wait, Najiba loves the MP for this place. Yeah. What's the name of this place? Old Town. Old Town. I, 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 that's why he was given the job yeah. for Minister of Wildlife and Tourism. Where is he now? Now, he yeah. has a case also in the court oh. in Nairobi. Najib Balala was the MP of Old Town. Imagine, that is very, very pristine here and it's Oman. So people living here, most of them are from Oman, yeah. a bigger population. And uh, this... Not only Oman, they are mixture. A mixture? Not Oman only. Okay. We have some Bajun, we have some Arabic, we have some Indians. Mm -hmm. We have different kind of the people. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is an old, old piece of information. He says there was a first train yeah. of Kenya here yeah. and uh, let me show them as I finish this video here this is just to show you the first train of Kenya this one this one was the first train of Kenya there are two actually here at uh, the main the f roundabout here in old nation not old nation old Mombasa town so that was our journey across the old Mombasa town. I hope you guys have enjoyed. So I want to finish here at this port. This artistic port. So this is where, if you want to come here, this is where your journey begins. Next to uh, Fort Jesus, the journey begins here. So ladies and gentlemen, I have to end this video here. This is a auto in China. And right now I'm in Mombasa. It's a beautiful day, early Monday morning, and I'm enjoying the views. I've had an amazing time with Ali Al Nur. Al Nur. Yeah, at this time, say your number so that somebody else can come. I'll tell you my email or my number, my Bo Instagram. Both. Yeah. My email for the Instagram is Mr. Mr. Chicks. And my Instagram is Mr. Mr. Chicks. Chicks with yeah. double E. Double X. Double X. Yeah. C H. See chicks. Yeah. Okay. Instagram. Uh -huh. Instagram on my Facebook is Anwar Al Khalifa. Anwar Al Khalifa yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Uh -huh. My number is zero seven zero zero triple three seven two one. Zero seven zero zero triple three seven two one. But you are plus two five four then seven. seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you are coming to Mombasa, he's the main guy. He's born here, so he knows so much about uh, all Mombasa now and any other information. Even you can go up to Lam. Yeah, yeah. To to Malindi, any place. I know the history. Okay, okay. So he's the right guy, and uh, we have finished this video here. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the All Mombasa Town. That was the first police station. This is where Queen Elizabeth slept, and uh, this is a auto in China. See you inside Fort Jesus. Peace.